Hello everyone. Welcome to Yellow Pages Nursing. In today's video, we will be discussing about sedation in ICU. Before entering into the session, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Let's get into the topic. What do we mean by sedation? Sedation is the action of administering a sedative drug to produce a state of calm or sleep. Now, why is sedation needed in ICU? Sedatives are frequently required in intubated patients to manage anxiety, agitation, and pain. However, most sedatives do not have analgesic properties. In ICU, analgesics are given along with the sedatives. This comes analgesia before sedation, also called analgo sedation. There are two types, analgesia-based sedation and analgesia-first sedation. Analgesia-based sedation refers to the use of an analgesic instead of a sedative to reach the sedative goal. The other one is analgesia-first sedation and it refers to the use of an analgesic before a sedative to reach the sedative goal. Now, what are the sedation drugs used in ICU? There are two types, benzodiazepine and non-benzodiazepine sedatives. Among benzodiazepines, there are three types, long, intermediate, and short-acting, for example, midazolam, lorazepam, and to a lesser extent, diazepam. The non-benzodiazepine sedatives are the short-acting intravenous anesthetic agents, for example, propofol and dexmedetomidin. A recent study shows that benzodiazepine-based sedative regimens are associated with longer ICU length of stay and duration of mechanical ventilation compared with non-benzodiazepine sedatives like propofol and dexmedetomidin. Now, what is the need for sedation and analgesia in mechanically ventilated patients? To prevent pain and improve comfort, thereby providing adequate sleep, prevent fear, anxiety, and agitation, Decrease oxygen consumption, decrease the stress response, patient ventilator synchrony. Patient ventilator synchrony is a matching between the patient regarding time, flow, volume, or pressure demands of the patient respiratory system and the ventilator, which supplies such demands during mechanical ventilation. Next comes the effects of inadequate sedation. Inadequate sedation may cause pain and anxiety, agitation, patient ventilator dyssynchrony, self-removal of tubes or catheter, care provider assault. Next comes effects of over sedation. Over sedation may cause prolonged mechanical ventilation, thereby increasing the ICU length of stay of the patient, and patient may undergo procedures like tracheostomy, and patient may develop complications like deep vein thrombosis, ventilator-associated pneumonia, etc. Inability to communicate, failure to initiate spontaneous breathing trials, increased risk for delirium. Next comes sedation assessment in ICU. The main responsibility of a nurse who is taking care of a mechanically ventilated patient along with sedation infusion is to assess the sedation level. Now, sedation level can be assessed by scales like sedation agitation scale, Ramsey sedation scale, and Richmond agitation sedation scale, that is RAS scale. Richmond agitation sedation scale is the most validated and most widely used tool to assess depth of sedation. RAS is mostly used in setting of mechanically ventilated patients in the intensive care unit to avoid over and under sedation. You can use Richmond Agitation Sedation Scale to assess the sedation level for the patient or you can follow according to the institutional policies. Richmond Agitation Sedation Scale is a 10-point scale. Here, plus 1 to plus 4 levels denote level of anxiety or agitation and the level 0 denotes alert or calm and level minus 1 to minus 5 denotes levels of sedation. We have discussed Richmond Agitation Sedation Scale in one of our previous videos and you can find the link in the description below for your reference. The other important nursing responsibility while taking care of a mechanically ventilated patient with sedation infusion is conducting spontaneous awakening trial. 
Spontaneous awakening trial is otherwise called daily sedation interruption, daily sedation hold or daily sedation vacation. Spontaneous awakening trial is nothing but mechanically ventilated patient who receives continuous sedative infusion or held in order to determine whether the patient requires ongoing sedation or can be managed without sedatives for the near future. We have also discussed spontaneous awakening trial in detail in one of our previous videos for which the link is given in the description below for your reference. So this is all about sedation in ICU. If you find this video useful, please like it, subscribe it, share it and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.